Open up on seven. Move it out, Shiv. Oh, oh yeah. Hero, huh? Identifying prisoner 117. Shiv, Helix. You think you can break me, copper? Yeah, I've been in the darkest pits in the universe. Places that would make your vaults rattle. The eternity pits of sword doom. The iron holds in no balance. <laughs> Greetings, new fish. I'm... Captain Quark. I... I don't believe it. You're here! I used to dream of being arrested by you. Now get out of here. I was talking to you, Zed. Yes, Captain. So, new fish, I take it you followed my many, many adventures? Of course I have. You're the most famous superhero in the galaxy. He ain't famous anymore. <laughs> Words hurt, solitary Bill. I'm a huge fan. I even pre-ordered the new Ratchet & Clank Hollow game. The what? You know, the game based on that incident with you and that Lombax. Oh, you must mean the Hollow film. Yeah, it's pretty good. If you like all CG. No, I mean the game. It's based on the Hollow film. Look, here's my confirmation email. I'm having it mag shipped to prison. <laughs> They're making a game based on the Hollow film based on my life? But they haven't even consulted me. Oh, this is my fault. I've been away from my adoring public in this forsaken place too long. And now, no one will ever hear my side. I'd like to hear your side, Captain. You would? Well, then sit down, wary criminal, and I'll tell you a story. It all started with a hapless Lombax named Ratchet. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Hey, Grim, you're here. I I thought you'd be down at the bazaar shopping for gravity coils. Uh huh. Well, I'm here. I'm always here. I don't suppose you sneaking out would have anything to do with those Galactic Ranger tryouts? I just need one hour. Come on, Grim. These are the Galactic Rangers we're talking about. Captain Quark will be there. No leaving the garage until you help fix Mr. Micron's ship. Now get on that bolt crank. Does that ship look mag-lifted to you? Get on that bolt crank, come on! Look at this thing. Avionics fried, CPU fried, even the gosh darn gravity coils fried! Okay, let's see if these new Versa bulbs work. Look up, do you see something flashing? Yep, left side looks good. It's a miracle. On to the afterburner light. More left afterburner light checks out. This thing might just be space-worthy after all. One more to the right. Lower right afterburner works. So, are we good? Yep, we're good. The news says the tryouts are being held at the fairgrounds. Show them what you got, kid. And so, Ratchet began his adventure, hoping to become a galactic ranger. Rise and shine, Kizzle Plateau. It's 8 a.m. and it's gonna be a hot one today. Our first story. Ratchet smashed his enemies using his trusty Omni Wrench. In order to best his foes, Ratchet used the warrior's time-honored tradition of jumping. Ratchet knew he faced mortal peril. Should he find himself on the verge of death, he'd need to find nanotech to heal. I used that stuff after a bank robbery once. It healed, like, three out of five gunshot wounds. Uh, 
Blacks displayed a flagrant disregard for public property. Look at him, smashing crates. <laughs> the hubris. Maybe he was just saving up bolts so he could buy a new weapon to protect the galaxy. Hey, who's telling the story? <laughs> With his enemies vanquished, Ratchet forged ahead. His destination? Destiny. <laughs> galaxy is a perilous place, as evidenced by the large amounts of ammunition left sitting around in crates. In order to spice things up, we've armed these dummies with Gadgetron flamethrowers. Our lawyers are totally cool with this. Whoa, a holo card. Sweet. Solana's next Galactic Ranger. Another one down. Excellent job, Cadet. Come see me after the show. Huh. That wasn't so bad. Helpless defect knew that his best chance for survival lay with the facility's ventilation system. If he could just run to the vent, he might just make it out of there alive. I know you will find the defect, Victor. You never disappoint. 
feeble defect knew that if he were to survive, he would have to throw a bomb at whatever lay in his path. The young defect spotted a spring bot ahead of him, knew that with this handy device in his arsenal, he could now defeat the deadliest of forces, gravity. The hopeless defect had to throw a spring bot, but where and how? You're running, you useless piece of scrap! Get back here and let's settle this! Warbot to Warbot! Oh no! Water! was a little close for me. Suddenly, the defect spotted a power bot. This device could power up a variety of machines, but where should he throw it? <laughs> You're like really good at adding drama, man. Thank you, Shiv. I pride myself on my penchant for storytelling. What seems to be the problem, Victor? You won't get away from me, Chairman. I've got him right where I want him. You can run from me? Not that route again. Get back here, you miserable defect! Running this! I'm gonna rip you apart! Sprocket by sprocket! Thoughts raced through Racket's head. Could he repair this diminutive war box? Would it be the key to the adventure he craved? Did he leave the proto engine on in the garage? The answer to all these questions was yes. All right, hang on. I'll get us back to the garage. <laughs> Large gaps were child's play to Ratchet. All he would need to get across is a trusty swing shot and a little bravado. Fortunately for our furry hero, a conveniently placed crate provided Ratchet with a combustor. Nice! A combustor! Perhaps you could shoot something to open the door.
my sensors indicate there is a switch across. Impressive shooting. Nice work. information in my data banks that poses a threat to Chairman Drek. He must have tracked my position to your planet so he could get it back. Grim, listen to me. I want you to lock the garage doors and then head down into the shelter. I'll be there as soon as I can. Copy that, Ratchet. In a bad way, hurt, confused and alone. He scoured the Kizzle Plateau for signs. I think that's all of them. Dropship? Correct. Model X6V to be exact. Also known as the Dropship of Death. Great. Grim's garage. Grim, are you okay? I'm fine, kid, but I ain't opening up until the coast is clear. Just hold tight, Grim. I got this. I've got you on hollow bit. There are more enemies moving in. Incoming dropship detected. Oh boy, war bots. That got held up on a project. A beginner's guide to quantum burst engines. Just throw that anywhere. I haven't bookmarked. Well, what's this? Fun with singularities and other cataclysmic events. <laughs> That's really more for educational purposes. It was always good to meet a fellow academic. Uh, really, I just need the pictures and then, you know, wait. <laughs> Coast is clear. Can you open up? Ratchet, what in Sony's name just exploded? Sorry about that, Grim. Listen, get my tools ready. I just found something in the desert I need to look at. Interesting. What kind of factory is this? this? Oh, this is just a garage. Lived here since I was a kid. Come on, let's get you fixed up. It's damaged, but I fixed worse. Come on, maybe there's someone in town who can help us. Wait a second, is that raritanium? Maybe we should upgrade our weapons first. Let's use that vendor and put this to good use. Pick your weapon. 
stop it. Let me walk. You're gonna need rare titanium for this stuff, but we'll use some of mine for now. That's one of our best sellers. All you gotta do is pick one of them cells. These things chain together. Go ahead and fill out the whole chain. All right, just confirm the transaction and the deal's done. Hey, you surrounded a mystery cluster. Now that's gonna give you a big boost. That's all there is to it. Give it a spin on one of your own. And jump, and j seriously, what's with all the jumping?
bug and jab the transmission. Who's gonna save us now? Oh, hello there. I'm glad you're here. I've been... Hey, have we met before? Because I'm getting a touch of the old deja vu. Uh, I don't think so. Huh. Well, guess the old think tank could use a good plumbing. <laughs> Anywho, I've been trying to get a distress call to the Galactic Rangers ever since Drax forces showed up. Uh, this entire region is overrun with Blargian dropships. We need to get you out of here. Well, I can't go anywhere until I get this here info bot into the hands of Captain Quark. We were on our way to speak with him when our ship was shot down. Perhaps we could take a look. Oh, well, sure thing. I swiped it from one of those blog soldiers. Here you go. Oh, hello there. I'm Alonzo Drek, chairman of Drek Industries. Many of you may be wondering, why are 300 heavily armed warbots marching ominously towards a Class G dreadship? <laughs> the answer is simple, friends. Progress. Years ago, we were driven underground by pollution that may or may not but most definitely was caused by my father's company. Since then, we've shifted focus from robotics to planet building. Now that our project is nearing completion, we must do everything possible to stay on schedule. In this case, it means our friendly army of warbots must vanquish those who would seek to stop us. Good news? They don't know we're coming! So sit back, relax, and take comfort in the knowledge that Drek Industries is working for you. Drek Industries is not working for you. I see you're having a little transportation trouble. Why don't I meet you by your ship? We'll get you squared away and ready to fly. Drumble! Did that guy just slide down a sewer pipe? Hmm. Well, it does look like the fastest way down. Let's give it a shot. That was awesome. Want to do it again? Lombax delves the depths of uh, deepness. Try as he might, Ratchet could not breathe underwater. My databanks, they were created by Drek Industries in order to assist the warbots. Bad guys, get ready! You are very good at breaking things. You know, they keep coming!
clear. Well done. This must be the way out. Some weapons? Step into my office. Actually, I ain't got no office, but I might get one if I make salesman of the month. I would totally buy that if I were you. Oh, wicked. Now you're almost too powerful. a lot of bad guys. Ooh, darn blood! Attention, citizens! You may have noticed we are in the midst of a small, insignificant invasion. We are working hard to stop that blood so we can find a peaceful resolution. But until we return our calls, it's probably best to remain in your homes. There's still more of them out there! There's still more of them out there! I got all kinds of stuff to make heroes more heroic. Take a look, locked and loaded! Ratchet knew he'd have to surface to breathe. Cora Verilux statue. She's the youngest recruit ever to be selected for the Galactic Rangers. That's the last of them. Ah. OD 
dear. More of them. That must be the mayor's ship. This is a transmission for the Galactic Rangers. Please, we need assistance. This is Adnan Buckwash, mayor of the Toad Rock Crater of Novalis. Mayor Buckwash will not last long without our help. Happy to be of assistance. Why is Drek trying to kill you? It's my nephew, Skid McMarks. Wait, Skid McMarks, the pro hoverboarder? He sent me this infobot from Iridia, and the Blarg have been after me ever since. Here, take a look. Hey, Uncle Bobwash! Skid McMarks here. You know, your nephew. My agent and I are at the awesome grand opening of the McMarks Sports Shack here on Iridia. And boy, is this been a trip. I've gotten to meet all kinds of people. Fans, celebrities, my Gadgetron sponsors. I even got to sign autographs for these odd-looking creatures called the Flarg. <laughs> I guess they're doing something here on Iridia. Wait, hold on a second. Hydro Harvester Super Illegal Water Displacement Apparatus. Um, I don't think I was supposed to have this. Stop him! He's got the schematics! Help! Someone! Call my agent! Call my publicist! Actually, don't call either of those people. Call someone who cares about me! I don't want to die! Sounds like Skid McMarks is in trouble. We gotta get to Iridia. Agreed. But we must first repair our ship. Oh, you did it! Thanks for saving the sector, friend. Now come on back and we'll see about fixing that ship. Attention! Your mayor is safe and sound. I was rescued by a furry hero and his robot friend. I will now resume regular office hours, which is every third Tuesday from 10 to 10.30. So, Ratchet and Clank set out to fix their ship with the help of the plumber. Little did they know they would soon come so close to greatness, they'd be able to hear its mighty biceps ripple. But first, they'd have to tackle a brain-eating zombie T-Rex. Hey, wait a minute. I don't recall no brain-eating zombie T-Rex. Okay, fine. Killjoy. Well, you look about all fixed up here. Now promise me you'll get that infobot to Captain Quark. I promise. Thanks for your help. No problem. See you in the next reboot. 